Okay guys, we're looking at another skill now. This skill is a fielding or a catching skill and it's called the crow hop. It leads us on to a great throw. So it's, you've done a bit of fielding and then there's a little trick to make sure our throw gets extra power. So this might be in t-ball when you're out in the field and someone's hit a really good shot. You've run after it, you've retrieved it, you might have done a long barrier, you might have done a great pickup. Then we need to throw, but there's something we can do in between that's called a crow hop that will really help us throw that ball into the other fielders or to the other bases. So I'll show you the skill and then we'll break it down. I'm gonna be using a pickup, a nice aggressive pickup, and then I'll see if you can spot the crow hop. Watch. I'm gonna do it one more time. Okay, I'm sure you've spotted, after I pick up the ball with whatever technique I'm using, there is a step in between before I throw the ball, and this is called the crow hop. So, I'm gonna do it facing this way so you can see. If I've picked up the ball here, I've already turned my body sideways like you've learned to do. I've picked up in a good low position. You're gonna push your foot into the ground, step behind like a crossover, and give a little jump and a hop, which is called the crow hop. So, let's break that down again. I've picked up the ball, step behind, little hop, and throw. And that gives you that extra bit of power and speeds up your delivery into the fielders. So, pick up the ball, behind, skip, throw. Foot behind, knee comes up, face the way you are gonna throw and twist. We know about that twist from our overarm throw lesson. So, one more time, step behind, knee comes up, all of my body is sideways on in that great throwing position, and then you know this bit, twist! and bring all that momentum forward for the distance on your throw. Let's see if I can do this. Now, just off camera, because I want to actually get this throwing in as well, I've set up two cones either side of the camera. So now, I'm not just gonna throw aimlessly, I'm gonna do my crow hop, and I'm gonna try and throw at these cones, all right? Just like I'm practicing throwing at a base or a fielder. Here I go, the crow hop. Look for the step in between the gather and the throw. That's the important bit to practice on this session. Here it comes. Pick up, step, step. Boom, oh, it's close. Watch again. Here it comes. Pick up, crossover, step, throw. Oh, enjoying this, a good session. Here it comes. Okay, pick up, step, step. Oh, so close. Oh, oh, oh. Remember, you're looking out for this crow hop, the step between the pick up and the throw, giving me that extra power. Step. Oh, okay, I was getting into that, guys. Remember, one foot behind, high knee, twist and turn, power through with that throw in. Good luck, guys. I want to see how you got on.